come into the dark. We can't see anything. We have never been to Antarctica. There's nothing to remember. Slip inside an Antarctica of the mind. In the dark, we lie back and sleep. We dream of Antarctica. But then we pinch ourselves, and we know we're not dreaming. We are seeing something after all. We're seeing all there is to see. It's dark here, one-sixth of the year. It's almost dark, another third of the year. So, so let's build a building of light. It could be a bundle of light, loops of light. Or it could be points of light, the ends of extending tubes of light, like periscopes of light. When a plane comes in, these lights guide the landing. But nobody comes here much. Those lights won't be necessary most of the time. Think of the building as a landing field. Not for planes, really, but for information. Information from the skies comes down to land here. Information can be pulled down from the stars. We don't need light to watch the skies. Let's build a building that turns on and off. The lights turn off and we disappear into nothingness as we watch the lights of the sky. But your eyes get used to the dark after a while and the land here is white. The world here is a sheet of ice. It's too white, too bright to sleep. Think of this world as a white sheet of paper a blank page. Get past dreaming and doodling. We can use that page to make fictions on, for one thing, and to make calculations on, for another. So, so let's start again. Come out in the snow. Come out and play in the snow. Not snow, really, but snow after the snowfall. Snow as the hard, implacable fact of ice. Surf the ice. Slide and glide over the ice. The building on stilts is dead. There's no need for telescoping supports. No need for the building to rise over the ice as the ice accumulates. Long live the building that rides the ice. Long live the building that floats. Let's build a building that is a balloon. A balloon that is a building. Let's build a building that rolls with the punches. It's a balloon within a balloon. A sphere within a sphere. As the outer sphere turns and shifts as it rolls over the ice, the inner sphere remains stable, horizontal. Now that we've gotten the building rolling, there's no stopping it. The building splits like an atom. The building floats out of itself. The building separates into a complex of buildings. Let's build a city of balloons. Sometimes the balloons roll apart from each other, like space capsules, like personal spaces. For a passage between them, a tubular bridge telescopes stretches from one to the other. Let's build a city of molecules. Sometimes the balloons come together, bump into each other like ships in the night. Each balloon is a shapeshifter. One swells while the other shrinks. When the breaking point is reached, each balloon breaks to make passage between them. Let's build a city that lives like a virus. Let the virus come back the health of the ice. Step back for a moment and survey what we have from afar. In the dark, on the snow, we're building balloon buildings lit from within. When one balloon building melds for the time being with the other, the colored lights of one swirl through the colored lights of the other and vice versa. What level of impact is required? How much energy is spent? Think, analyze, diagram, calculate. But we're getting woozy. Our skin is numb. 
Our muscles and joints are numb. Our minds are numb. It's too cold to think here. Let's begin again. Brave the cold. Come outside into the cold. Let's build a complex of buildings that have skin like an animal. Since these skins will be manufactured and made of plastic or carbon fiber, there can be a fur that's braided and knotted to stop the wind. A seal skin that's pleated, folded, corrugated to divert the wind. A reptile skin that's flexible, pliable enough to be pushed in and pulled out to trap the wind, repel the wind. Let's build a building that wraps around itself, a building that swallows itself, a building that turns inside out of itself. Fixed within frost, in the face of the wind, we go into the buildings and live as if, in the middle of a raging ocean, we were inside the belly of a whale. The building is like a glow inside a mountain, a secret world inside the mountain, undetected from the outside. Each room is a different kind of light, a different color of light. It's the light that makes the room, shapes the room. The room doesn't need walls to separate itself. It's the light that separates the room. We walk from room to room, from hard light to soft light, from still light to variable light, from one color into another. Once our work is done for the day, we have some time to relax. The light is composed of images. Just as with audio speakers surrounding us, we can be in the middle of music. We can be here in the middle of a movie. A movie that's as palpable as the air we breathe. A movie that is the air we breathe. Instead of being entertained, we have entertainment slipped inside our skin, instilled into our bones. The air here is heated in such a way that we can float in the air, like the floating building we're inside of. In the middle of Antarctica, Antarctica floats out of itself for a while, away from us, and leaves us in a world in itself that becomes a world of our own.